It's about a week now since the DSS actually invaded the High Court in Lagos. Since the DSS displayed its flagrant disregard for the rule of law. One week, seven days and counting, and still no rebuke from Tinobu, no rebuke from the National Assembly, whether the Senate or House of Rep, no rebuke from the judiciary. This is a dangerous trend. The disregard for a court order is an abuse of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and allowing the DSS to get away with it sends a very, very wrong signal to the rest of the world and indeed to Nigerians. Nigerians feel hard done by. They feel pressed and pushed to the wall. And when the people are pushed to the wall, they look to the last hope of the common man, which is the judiciary. And if an order of court can be so trampled upon by the DSS and the DSS gets away with it, then there is problem. We are hoping and saying indeed that all eyes on the judiciary with this kind of flagrant disregard for a court order, how are we sure that the judiciary will not be intimidated into giving an order that does not reflect justice for the Nigerian people. We still put all eyes on the judiciary, but while we do that, we should take note of this flagrant disregard, this trampling upon the rule of law by the DSS. The DSS, by its enabling laws, reports directly to the president. And of course, as president and commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, the buck stops at Tinubu's desk. The actions of the DSS, if left unchecked, will not augur well for Nigeria's democracy. The impunity carried out by the DSS, continuously, because what happened in the High Court on a Mirfilis case in Lagos is not the first. We have the pending cases of Nam Dikanu, Sambo Dasuki, Elg Zaki, prominent or high profile cases for which the High Court or the, the judiciary have made pronouncements or given court orders, court orders that were flagrantly disregarded or disobeyed by the DSS. This impunity is become one too many. The impunity goes on as if there is nothing the Nigerian people can do. This is where the danger lies. Nigerians must indeed resist this impunity because with it comes the destruction of the Nigerian state. There is something that Nigerians can do. Many people quickly think about protests. Protests, even though it does not come without its own risk, there are better ways to handle the impunity of the DSS and indeed of the executives. And with protest comes the infiltration by hoodlums who the government can pay to come and disrupt such pro uh, protests. And at the end of the day, this can result into infighting on both sides that can lead to breakdown of law and order and eventually lead to loss of lives. So, the approach of protest is one that should be treaded with caution and with great concern. However, this is not to rule out protests because indeed, those who make peaceful change impossible make violent ones inevitable. What can Nigerians do to stop the impunity of the DSS aside from protest being a last resort? Nigerians can avail themselves this opportunity to resist the impunity of the DSS and indeed the impunity of the executives by speaking against it, one, and two, or ultimately going on strike. We should go on strike. Even if it's going to be for a limited number of days, we must and should go on strike. Every workers' union, every traders' union, 
every individual artisan to professionals must indeed go on strike to send a strong message to the DSS, to the executives, that indeed power ultimately rests with the people and that the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is above every individual, even the president, even the DSS. Until this is done, such impunities as we witnessed or have witnessed so far in the cases of Emir Feli, Bawa, El Zagzaki, Sambo Dasuki, Namdikanu, such impunities will continue to go on in this country and the poor persons will continue to have their rights infringed. If it can happen to these high profile persons, imagine what goes on in the localities, in the villages, where the people do not have the financial power or the financial muscles to pursue justice for themselves. We need a country that works for all, a country that is free from the impunity and total disregard for the rule of law, separation of powers and the principles of checks and balances that the DSS and the executives have displayed so far. At this point, it is ultimately important to, to state that it's a shame that the National Assembly has not come out to condemn the act of the DSS. The National Assembly made up of the Senate and the House of Representatives, must not forget that they are not immune or isolated from this, this disrespect for the rule of law, this disrespect of the rule of law by the DSS. It has happened before and it can still happen again. The National Assembly, particularly the leadership, should not feel that they are immune to the disregard for the rule of law of the DSS. If they think they are immune, they should think again. Those who thought yesterday that they were immune have become victims today of this disregard of the rule of law. So it is imperative for all and sundry, for all Nigerians, including the National Assembly, to take a stand against impunity, against disregard of the rule of law by the DSS. If not, what goes around definitely comes around. Today, it might be a mere failure. Who says tomorrow it cannot be God's will above you? Who says tomorrow it cannot be Tajuddin Abbas? Who says the only safeguards we have is to protect the rule of law, is to guard against impunity, such as being displayed by the DSS. The DSS must recognize the fact that sovereignty lies with the people, that indeed they should respect the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which includes respecting and obeying court orders, not necessarily dancing to the tune of the president, because disobeying court orders sets precedents for breakdown of law and order, which is the sole task that is DSS was set up to protect. It will not be fair for Nigerians, for Nigeria to be allowed to descend into anarchy by the disregard of for rule of law by the DSS. All must speak now and Nigerians must get ready to speak since our elected officials are not speaking. The National Assembly have gone silent, the judiciary is silent and the presidency, particularly Tinubu, has indeed been quiet on this matter. It cannot be allowed to slide. The spokesperson of the DSS making a speech that the DSS will investigate does not even begin to scratch the surface of what needs to be done to stop the impunity of the DSS. Yes, he has said the DSS will um, inquire into the matter, but Emir Feli is still in DSS custody against the order of court. This is what needs to be corrected. Every court order subsisting must be obeyed by the DSS, failure of which the Nigerian state, the Nigerian people must indeed come out and protest. We must protest. Let's send a message to these people that power indeed rests with, this, with the people. Let's send a message to the National Assembly, to Tinubu. Let's send a message to the DSS that they cannot trample on the rights of Nigerians and get away with it. If it happens to high profile persons, it can happen to you. And if it happens to you, the average Nigerian on the street, you will not have a voice to defend you. 
if you do not act now. Support the strike by NLC, even if it's just going to be for a short time. We need to send a message. And the NLC must add the release or the obeying of the rule of law, the obeying of court order as part of the conditions for calling off the protest that they are going on. We need to protest. Peaceful protest is allowed by the constitution. And so far as the protests are peaceful, no court can stop the protest because it will appear that the Tinubu administration is calling for obedience to court orders when they themselves, through the DSS, have refused to obey the same court order. This is not fair to Nigerians and Nigerians must act. If we are to get justice from the judiciary, if we are to have a judiciary that actually operates without interference from the executives, then we must protect the integrity, the integrity of the judiciary by going on this protest against the impunity of the DSS and of the Tinobu administration. We must do it. If not, we'll be throwing Nigeria under the bus.